Um, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm um, at the uh, Amsterdam um, University of Applied Sciences, uh, where um, since 2004 we are having this uh, very small research initiative. In fact, we have only 1.2 jobs, and that includes me. So, it, uh, so please don't think uh, you know that this. What I'm going to present you here is anything uh, uh, big or ambitious. Um, well, maybe ambitious it is, but uh, we <coughs> have to be, you know, aware of uh, of just uh, the limitations in in terms of uh, resources. Um, for uh, for seven years now, um, we've been uh, running a, a series of uh, publication and, and and publishing initiatives, and um, this is the the very first time. Uh, ever that I, I'm, uh, you know, giving a, a talk about this. Uh, we've been publishing a lot, uh, but it's only recently, very recently, that um, we've been uh, sort of, yeah, started to, uh, you know, s see this activity, this frantic activity, as as a, as a topic that uh, we should uh, study, theorize. Uh, and maybe f maybe further expand. So um, it's, it's for the first time here that I'm trying to uh, you know also make a, a few things uh, uh, explicit that we've been uh, that we've been doing, which uh, maybe until now w were kind of you know well we, we did it but we didn't we never spent so much uh, time thinking about it. And maybe this is also related to the wider changes that uh, are happening. Uh, you know, in um, in academic publishing, uh, but also in book publishing in general, um, and obviously, uh, you know, the the rise of e-readers, tablet, and so on has got uh, to do uh, with that, uh, combined with uh, you know the the move of a lot of uh, these uh, data uh, to the cloud. So the cloud computing and the arrival of cloud cloud computing really, uh, you know, being accessible to a lot of people. Uh, also, it's a fairly recent phenomena. So, um, you know, usually uh, I, uh, I do not feel, you know, ashamed to say that I'm a techno-determinist, but yes, uh, you know, I try to overcome my own position often. Uh, but it, it is a fact that, especially in this branch, the revolution uh, of, uh, of storage, of computation, and uh, of bandwidth, uh, you know, uh, for millions and millions of people, not just in Europe and the U.S., but beyond that, uh, you know, is now have, having uh, have a, an impact uh, on on this. So these are all uh, changes that we've seen coming for for a long time, uh, but now they uh, they seem to uh, they seem to arrive. And um, what I'm going to present you here are. Uh, just a few models to how we how we thought you know we could um, could deal with this. Uh, this is the website. Let me just start with the most traditional one. Uh, we we we're a re uh, research center, and uh, one of the first things I, I decided to do is is uh, is to have a, a a book series. This was kind of my natural response, and we. Uh, we contacted the Netherlands Architecture Institute, you know, the one who is publishing uh, most of these uh, Rem Kohlhaas books. Uh, they, uh, they're the ones in our country with the, uh, the only really solid uh, international distribution throughout the world. So that, that is important. Uh, we've so far published uh, five titles, so approximately uh, one, one a year. We've got three in production, so we managed to make about one book uh, a year. Approximately, and that's that's uh, for us. That's that's quite a lot. Um, it means you know we have to work for a long time with authors. Uh, they take up to two or three years to produce a book. Uh, the production is relatively fast. It's anywhere between three months and half a year. So that's uh, that's uh, quite uh, pleasant. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, uh, you know, uh, there's a price tag to this. Huh? Uh, the situation in the Netherlands has been for the, for like this for quite a long time. You have to pay if you want to publish, right? So we as an institute, we have to organize around, let's say on average, 15,000 euros uh, per title, which we have to pay to this uh, publisher. Uh, if you, on top of that, uh, take into account that an average academic study 
uh, with, this is a Dutch study, I don't know how it is in the US, approximately uh, will cost that institution or society as a whole on average 120,000 euros, which is about 150,000 US. Now you can see you know, uh, kind of who, how expensive uh, it is uh, to produce these, these titles and how expensive, in fact, research is if, uh, if it's organized in, in this way. Uh, and I, I think, uh, yeah, if we're talking about academic publishing, I think this, uh, this is something we need to, uh, you know, take uh, into, uh, into account. Um, yeah, I mean, the titles, they sell relatively well. Um, uh, but, you know, I mean, this is kind of the traditional uh, approach. Then, uh, on top of that, very soon, uh, we started to produce these readers, kind of uh, anthologies. Um, and uh, we we've now produced eight, eight of them. And this is uh, already a lot uh, less uh, traditional, let's say. Uh, the, the printing costs uh, are only a fraction of what we have to pay to the Netherlands Architecture Institute. Uh, they cost around 7,000 euros in total to produce uh, them. And for that, you get two or 3,000 uh, copies. And we distribute those copies for free. Um, uh, so the, the turnover is very fast. And these uh, titles are also uh, available uh, online as a, as a, a PDF. Uh, so at least that's how it started off. So uh, we launched them uh, as PDFs. And then, um, you know, they are, and then sometimes we reprint them. So some of these titles have been quite successful. We, we did about four or 6,000 of them. And they're used in courses. And uh, you know, whoever wants to order them uh, gets them uh, delivered for free. In a way, you could say, well, that's postal communism. Uh, th this is kind of also the last stage of what uh, an institution can do. Uh, um, you can just uh, you know, post your books for free. I don't know, um, you know how long that's going to last. But uh, in fact, the people who run uh, the postal service inside our university, they are very happy with us. So because at least you know, uh, they, we give them something uh, to do. Uh, but they also know that their days are numbered. Uh, I mean, ten, uh, in, uh, throughout the Netherlands, uh, every year, there's 10% less people who use uh, you know, letters, uh, postal service, and so on. So 10% every year, yeah, less. So you can imagine that also this uh, model uh, is, is running out. Yeah? Th there's just uh, um, less and less, uh, probably, uh, you know, opportunities for us. Uh, this is a, a, a kind of a variation of that model, uh, which is more like the 20,000 words um, uh, brochure. Uh, it's called Network Notebooks. Uh, we're just producing two more. So um, very soon we'll have uh, uh, two more uh, in this uh, series. And um, yeah, we, we, li we, we like this because it gives authors the opportunity to, um, to respond faster. And to, if they have a research, you know, it doesn't have to be a full-fledged uh, book, necessarily, if, if, um, if they've done something. And of course, um, uh, you know, some, some of them are a bit more closer to a, a manifesto type, type of uh, writing. But then, uh, I think two years ago, uh, we said, well, we, you know, why don't we, uh, why don't we go you know, uh, digital altogether? This is kind of, it was uh, obvious that it, this had to happen. <laughs> and um, this, uh, this is now the, uh, the Theory on Demand uh, series. Uh, and and did, when we started doing this, uh, we thought, oh, yes, th this is really something. Now we're on to something. Uh, because um, this opened up an enormous amount of uh, new possibilities. And uh, people were very enthusiastic uh, about this. Uh, because this series really lent itself to, uh, let's say, a multiplication over uh, a variety uh, of, of platforms. Uh, we just tried, to, we tried some titles, ju also just to see how it goes. Uh, the, the production of it uh, is, uh, is actually uh, relatively fast. Uh, we, uh, we also, the, the, the design uh, is a little bit standardized. Uh, so we, we uh, unlike with other books and so on, we do not ask 
uh, a book designer to individually produce uh, the title. Uh, we order them, in fact, by, by five. So uh, for, for the design is made for five, and then uh, it's, it's renewed. You can see that. Uh, so um, uh, this, this can be done also by us. It's, it's kind of desktop uh, tab publishing. Uh, the idea of this also came because I was approached myself by one of these uh, commercial publishers. Uh, they discovered that I did a, a PhD back in 2003. And they also, uh, of course, must have noticed through all their searches and database uh, queries that my, pub my PhD was not published. And then almost simultaneously, two of those very large print-on-demand um, uh, publishers uh, approached me. Uh, and then I did a little bit of research into them. Uh, and uh, there's quite a, lo a lot of them. Uh, one of them, for instance, they, they, uh, they, they produced uh, 3,000 titles a year. Uh, which um, uh, is about, well, you can, um, um, it's about uh, 15 or so, 15 books on a day. And uh, that's what they, uh, what they do. Uh, and uh, I also asked, you know, for a contract, and I just wanted to uh, have a bit closer look at, you know, how they produce. And, um, yeah, you, you just kind of click on, uh, you know, the different backgrounds for a cover. You kind of can design the cover uh, in, a, in a database. They don't do anything, uh, they're not editing, they don't look into the manuscript, nothing. They kind of run it uh, into uh, a template and, uh, well, that's about it. Because, you know, well, they're running out of time because <laughs> they've got a lot of other titles to produce on that day. So, <laughs> okay, and I thought, okay, well, y you do that as a commercial business, you know, but we can do maybe, maybe something similar or something, you know, maybe not... Uh, uh, we, we still, we, and, and, uh, with a, a lot of these um, titles, um, we wor still worked with authors. We, uh, we paid for copy editing and so on. And like with the other titles, of course, a lot of our titles are written, like us, uh, by non-native English speakers. So there's a lot of extra cost uh, that comes on top um, uh, of normal book production to do, uh, you know, proper cop copy editing. Now, I'm not saying that... English, American, and Australians write proper English. That's not, <laughs> not true. <laughs> I know that. So I also know that copy editing has to be done uh, in those countries too. But, you know, there's, there's a lot of kind of, you know, problems that we have on top of the, uh, of the already, uh, you know, existing problems. Um, yeah, theory on demand. It, uh, obviously a print on demand uh, uh, service. Um, and what we started to, to do is uh, to offer them um, through, uh, uh, you know, uh, first of all, Lulu, of course, here in the United States, so people could, uh, could order them. Well, the problem with Lulu is uh, it's not so much for, for you uh, out here. Uh, the problem really is uh, if you start uh, ordering it from outside of the U.S., because then uh, you know, FedEx <laughs> and the DHLs and so on, they start to, uh, you know, uh, really charge and then uh, the price almost doubles and you start, in fact, paying them. As you're not even paying the author and, in fact, you're not even paying Lulu. Huh? You're really uh, starting to pay for, for that very, very expensive um, delivery, which was, uh, in fact, not, uh, not designed in the first place. For for uh, for book distribution, eh? FedEx didn't start as a as a book distributor, right? Uh, not at all. Uh, so um, so uh, yeah. There, so what we then thought, okay, what we uh, what we in fact need to do is kind of localize print on demand uh, services, and that's what we're trying to do now. Is that uh, we're, we're, because our uh, the amount of titles is not so big, at least until now. Uh, we've, we're producing now around five a year or something. Maybe it could, you know, we could increase that number. Uh, um, and then uh, look for, you know, a, um, a print-on-demand service in Japan, in Germany, and so on and so on. Okay, maybe now I, I want to say something more about, um, you know, how we, how we approach this. How we, um, uh, you know, throughout this um, um, series. Um, the Institute of Network Culture is, uh, is in fact, is not a publisher. Eh? So um, 
I, I kind of, I've always hesitated a little bit. Uh, also, if, if, this, uh, if this name, this label is the, right, is the right label, because obviously we're involved in kind of post-publishing post publishing or something like that. I don't know. There must be a new word invented for this. Huh? Because, no, I, I hear I call it, uh, uh, you know, do it together uh, publishing. Uh, but obviously uh, it doesn't say do it yourself uh, publishing uh, because we don't believe that, uh, that this is really uh, the way uh, to go. And uh, now I've listed here uh, a number of reasons why we think that, uh, you know, even though do it yourself publishing, uh, you know, has a tremendous, uh, you know, future and op opportunity, we think that within our context, people who work in theory, uh, in culture, in activism, uh, that uh, necessarily do-it-yourself publishing uh, is, is, uh, is, is the right way uh, uh, to go. And this is especially uh, uh, related uh, to all the expertise that is needed that an individual author doesn't, uh, doesn't have and maybe also doesn't need to have in order to write uh, a good book or to do proper research or to make uh, you know, a, a statement. And here I've, I've listed here um, a few of the uh, you know, elements of uh, what we could call you know, is our publishing uh, uh, philosophy. Uh, so, um, so we try to uh, make decisions together uh, with the author um, uh, over um, the length and, and the, the, the book. Uh, we, we try to uh, be very clear that uh, in, our, in our understanding um, uh, we want to uh, promote theory, which means that uh, you know, it, there's a lot of kind of risk taking uh, uh, involved, so the idea should be new. Um, and um, you know can have uh, can be free uh, in the sen in the tradition of the essay style. Um, there is um, uh, well, there's obviously uh, you know continuous uh, support uh, of the uh, of the authors, which I think is also uh, important. Uh, you know, which goes beyond do it yourself. Uh, so the, the support of the authors, the moral support, emotional support is very important in order to get uh, the work done. And uh, this should not be underestimated. And uh, this is really uh, an important role of a, of a publisher, even in the uh, you know, electronic uh, age. Uh, then, as I mentioned already, uh, you know, the copy editing uh, is, um, is a, a very important. And, and then I think the most important aspect uh, is mentioned below here, uh, dealing together with the digital delivery uh, platform revolution. And this is particularly what, uh, what we've been focusing on over the last uh, two years. Uh, because this is something really that an individual author is, uh, finds it very, very hard uh, to, to keep up with. Uh, and I, I find it hard to keep up with sometimes, uh, and um, uh, pr probably others uh, too. Uh, I mean, to, uh, to prepare titles uh, for EPUB uh, so that they can be read on iPad, um, the whole uh, issue of HTML5, um, uh, the, uh, the proliferation of uh, places where you can do um, um, uh, print on demand. And uh, yeah, a lot of these uh, kind of thoughts we brought together in this, uh, this event that we uh, did last May, uh, organized uh, with a, a neighboring uh, research uh, initiative in our school, um, produced by Morgan Curry, who is here. Um, so it's very nice that uh, you know, she, she's, she's now at uh, UCLA doing a PhD there uh, on this topic. Um, and it was held uh, at the Royal Library in, uh, in The Hague and um, in the public library in Amsterdam. And um, a project came out of that, and which has now, uh, is now called Out of Ink. Uh, and Out of Ink uh, is, uh, is our research uh, um, a project for the next uh, few years, uh, in which uh, we are going to look together uh, with, um, uh, for instance, this group, uh, this is the open source publishing um, uh, initiative in Brussels, um, uh, together with people who are into digital uh, typography, um, uh, people who, uh, you know, designers, and uh, uh, initiatives like uh, Mute, 
uh, and uh, you know, others uh, in order to, to kind of bring together the expertise that is necessary uh, to, to really uh, understand the, the, the proliferation of these platforms and to uh, play an active role in that uh, too. So it's not only a question of, you know, um, what do you think of HTML5 or something like that. Uh, yeah, here you see uh, the, um, the Espresso book machine. Uh, yeah, we, this is, for instance, uh, what we think is a very um, you know, interesting initiative. It's the American books, Bookstore in Amsterdam, uh, which in the middle of the uh, bookstore has this fantastic uh, printing, uh, printing machine where you can uh, just uh, you know, produce your, your, your print-on-demand books uh, yourself. So if you have a, you know, your favorite uh, a PDF or something like that, you go here, and then uh, five minutes later, uh, you have it uh, uh, as, a, as a book. And uh, so the, these kind of lo localization uh, uh, initiatives, we think that uh, you know, th there will be many, many, many more uh, of them. So, uh, so we, th we really would like to um, you know, uh, encourage people to make use of them and also maybe create a network so that uh, you, know, you, you can more easily find them. Because at the moment, you, it's, it, it's, uh, it's a bit difficult uh, to uh, to find them here you uh, here you now see the the the, the, the store uh, at um, at uh, Lulu uh, so all our titles are uh, are, ava are available there and uh, mind you th that you can still download them yeah, it says ebook uh, you can download them for free but you can order them as well as a as a book um, now I'll just go through a, a few a few initiatives. Um, uh, this is one in from uh, from the UK. Uh, we will see uh, a lot of those uh, types of initiatives, uh, you know, coming up, where uh, people try to um, uh, bring together, you know, the, all the expertise that is necessary in order to do this. And um, if you talk with people in the in the traditional book publishing world, they kind of they are looked down on this, eh? o obviously. I mean, they say this is for amateurs and so on. But on the other hand, we have to say that the book publishers themselves are not moving in this area at all. Eh? So th the w what we will see over the next few years in particular is a growing gap between uh, the, uh, the traditional book publishers that are lagging behind uh, and initiatives uh, like this uh, or, um, or like this, uh, make your own book. Uh, there's, there's plenty of this uh, stuff uh, out there now. So the de democratization uh, of book publishing uh, is really happening uh, at the moment. Prices are going down. Uh, and as I said, with, uh, with the, the, the espresso book machine, uh, uh, there's, of course, uh, zero uh, costs involved there. Uh, to, to mail this book uh, to you, uh, which really brings down the price considerably in comparison uh, to uh, Lulu. Uh, so, um, or this one, what, uh, what, the, what these uh, places are doing is, is that they really try to uh, you know, understand what, um, what we can do with um, you know, in this case, um, HTML5 uh, used on um, um, on the iPad, iPhone uh, platform. Yeah, of course, I, the iPhone and the iPad, uh, you know, they uh, give us unique uh, opportunities uh, to kind of bring back the knowledges that we would, were out there in the mid '90s uh, concerning uh, CD-ROM publication, and we will see that this kind of what was called at the time multimedia huh, will now f uh, kind of f f finally <laughs> find its place and uh, you know be uh, be kind of reinvented or is being brought back in a way. And then uh, Google, of course, also uh, is trying its bit. Um, and this is uh, this is their suit. Uh, called Sigil. I don't know if you uh, heard about it, but this is kind of a, a, an a, um, a ebook, uh, you know, publication uh, platform, uh, which uh, uh, probably many many authors uh, will start uh, will start to use or, or similar 
similar uh, types uh, like, like this. Now I want to uh, close this presentation with, with um, uh, you know, a few more uh, strategic um, remarks, maybe. Uh, the Do It Together uh, publishing uh, strategy for us has a, a larger agenda. And I think one of the first ones is to refuse peer review. I think this is very important. Uh, this is why uh, there is the do-it-yourself publishing industry. Uh, I don't want to go now into why you know, uh, the peer review uh, system as it exists in the academic world uh, is corrupt to its core. Uh, I, I don't want to uh, go uh, yeah, into that, but uh, we all know uh, what is going on there. In particular, of course, anonymous uh, peer reviewing, uh, which is so largely, uh, largely used to, you know, to bring down, in, in fact, the self-esteem of, of many, many people. It's a very humiliating uh, form uh, you know, of, uh, of discussion, because I, I, I see these things as a, as a debate as part of a debate, and it's really the most nasty form uh, of, of contemporary debate that we, uh, that we have. Um, so, uh, so one of the first things, I think, for the uh, publishing industry to uh, get on board here is, is to stop peer reviewing. That's uh, really one of the uh, first things. And th that, of course, is uh, going together with a refusal of uh, intellectual property and all the stuff that comes with it. Because if we st stuck to that, uh, you know, we cannot uh, move uh, the content to other platforms and so on. So th these things, for me, uh, uh, are going together. Uh, but I have to say, they go together with a, a, a new form, which I call here a system of mutual aid. As you have seen, you know, we emphasize very much so on publishing together. Uh, the idea, the suggestion that authors can do it all alone is, is, is a myth. It's, it just doesn't work. Yeah, there's too much expertise uh, necessary, and maybe this is also not necessarily the way you know, we want to we wanna go. Uh, yeah, critical engagement with open access standards. Uh, it's kind of uh, obvious that, that that's related then. In the, in the next uh, phase, if you want to uh, go there. Uh, yeah, I also find it interesting uh, that these new, um, uh, new forms of publishing should somehow engage in the, in the near future with initiatives like social reading. Or, you know, should uh, at least be open to include some level uh, how to, of, of dealing with comments. Huh? And maybe that, that comment culture or that idea of social reading is also a response to the crisis in peer reviewing and the peer review ritual. Yeah? Because I'm not against you know, people attacking other people's work, right? No, but it sh in my view it should happen in the open. It should, yeah? This is w why I, uh, I refuse to participate in any peer reviewing, you know, because I say, well, I, I, I can tell the author directly what I think of it. You know? And um, it's not up to me to decide, you know, whose work is going to be uh, published. Huh? So, um, so, so what needs to be brought back is an element of uh, of public, uh, you know, publicness, public discussion about around a book. And this can now also be um, integrated uh, technically. And the last one. <laughs> Uh, as I said, it's very, very necessary. Networks to share experience, how to best distribute the titles through multiple platforms. And this is the bit, uh, probably the biggest challenge. Uh, because the, uh, the, the publishing industry is, uh, is now uh, cha fa um, changing so fast uh, that uh, you know, we, need, we need a lot of uh, kind of debates like, like this here. And our proposal would uh, also be you know, that uh, we kind of also internationally bring uh, the, um, the expertise together. Uh, and we, we're in conversation with uh, initiatives like MUTE, and we know, we know there are many others uh, out there. But, you know, even for individual publishers or publishing platforms, it is very, very difficult to, uh, to keep up, not only to keep up, but to make the right 
um, the decisions. And the right decisions, in my view, uh, should be taken together. Thank you very much.